Hello everyone. So I have come across a question from Nelson Bautista Sakalayan, our friend from Practical Antenna Home Brewers. The group discusses about antenna home brewing and any other radio related topics. So he's asking what is the best stocking distance for a three element shaggy. So let's see the comment section. Some says 76 to 78 uh, inches some say half wave some say 12 inches other say one wave length advisable other say 72 without unit other say 2 meters other say 77 inches from antenna design handbook so my personal uh, answer from that question says it depends on what you would like to achieve either if you want a clean pattern put it closer together or if you want a little bit of gain put it a little bit farther so let's prove the statement if that is correct or not so let's cite a reference for antenna stocking this is a website by DK7ZB, he's a German. So let's read the statement. Stocking of, antenna, of antennas is a method for increasing the gain by decreasing the radiation angles. Theoretically, the additional gain for a second jaggy with optimal stocking distance is 3 dB. So that is the optimal stocking distance and gain. With optimal stocking distance that we put on our stocking we just get a uh, optimal gain of 3 dB so with the exception of a dipole and a two element jaggy at 4 dB the stocking distance depends on the radiation angles take note of that azimuth and elevation of each single yagi as a rule of thumb take the stocking distance for vertical stocking of horizontally polarized shaggies in the picture below so we just uh, can just copy the stocking distance here if you like so the gain of a single yagi versus the stocking distance lambda with that, uh, with that distance you are always very close to the optimal data so we have the gain of the antenna we have the stocking distance so as you increase the gain you increase the stocking distance that means if your antenna has a higher gain the stocking distance is also higher so with lower distance you, uh, you get lower gain if you put the antenna close stocking to uh, closer you get lower gain but mostly a pattern with less side lobes so let's prove that if the yagis come too close together the impedances of the yagis will change you should avoid that so how we how can we prove this statement if that is correct so let's use antenna modeling to prove those statement so i have here a 10 element yagi the distance is equal spacing so this is discussed on my YouTube video on how to compute for the gain and the antenna pattern so you if you watch the video you will see how I configure the antenna diagram on 4 neck 2 and basically you can follow that to obtain a, semi, a similar antenna that you can simulate so we have here a 10 element shaggy vertically stuck to at uh, my initial uh, separation for stocking distance of this antenna is 1.52 meters or 5 uh, feet so let's see the antenna pattern for that antenna separation so let's regenerate the antenna pattern for a 10 element shaggy so we have a uh, stocking of 5 uh, feet 
so as we can see here on the antenna diagram we have side lobes it's actually four side lobes on both two side lobes each on both vertical on horizontal plane our antenna gain is 14.1 uh, SWR is 1.29 at that stacking distance separation what if we reduce the stacking distance to 4 feet so we just copy it copy the value from notepad and uh, put it on the geometry editor basically the geometry edit editor is a Cartesian coordinates you put all those variables here and position it on the Cartesian coordinates Horzep is the horizontal separation initially the single antenna it is set to zero because there's no other antenna but with you stuck to antenna you get another you put another variable which is horizontal separation which will serve as your stacking distance for this antenna model so let's put the stacking distance to 4 feet if you want to know more how I configure that as I have said you can check out the video how to compute for the gain and antenna pattern on my youtube channel so let's continue since we are only proving the statement from the website about stacking antennas that if you put it closer together you get lower gain with clean pattern so we put it to 1.2 or 4 feet regenerate the antenna pattern so as we can see we have we have reduced the side lobes to more clean uh, cleaner side lobes or smaller smaller side lobes so we have increased the gain to 14.1 it's almost the same but we have a clean pattern so let's recompare that to our previous antenna pattern So as we can see we have 14.1 antenna gain with bigger side lobes if we put it closer together we get a cleaner pattern with same antenna gain so we have reduced the side lobes we have still the same gain but a cleaner pattern so ideally this is the ideal stacking distance between those two Yagi antennas it's 4 feet or 1.2 meters our SWR is still acceptable at 1.4 what if we still reduce it to 3 feet let's see the effect of the stacking distance so now we have regenerated the pattern now as we can see this wr is still acceptable at three feet the pattern is now more clean no side lobes basically almost meshed together between horizontal and vertical plane with a reduced gain of 13.6 db with an acceptable wr of 1.55 what if we put it closer together at two feet so let's see two feet it's two feet now at 0.6 meters so as we can see we still have clean pattern but with side lobes on the horizontal plane the gain is now reduced to 
and this WR is now reduced to two point, uh, increase to 2.03. So you should avoid that configuration. Ideally, you can go far as three feet, but if you want clean pattern on both horizontal and vertical plane. But it has a lesser gain, around 13 uh, dB. So let's recheck on how much gain we can get from stocking distance of 3 feet. So 13.6, almost 14, point 14 dB. So increasing it to a higher stocking distance will give you higher gain but with more side lobes or bigger side lobes so let's reconfirm that by increasing this horizontal separation to six feet now so as we can see here we regenerate the antenna pattern as we can see we have 14.4 gain our side lobes for the horizontal plane increase or it it's now much bigger same with the vertical plane but the SWR is now reduced to 1.14 so what we if we still increase the stocking distance so now we increase it to 10 feet So now you have uh, now we have three lobes, three main lobes on horizontal plane with an increase of another one dB gain, 15.5 now. Still the vertical plane pattern is clean with an SWR of 1.03. So as you increase the stocking distance, the effect of impedance to the antenna that you are stacking is it reduces the impedance so you get a better SWR while you are increasing the stacking distance but if you put it closer together you increase the impedance of the antenna you get a much clean pattern but with lower gain so the optimum stocking distance is where you get a clean pattern and acceptable gain so ideally that would be three feet or four feet as from our simulation we can get a clean pattern using separation of three feet or a poor fit for our two stock Yagi antennas. As we can see here, we have uh, small side lobes with clean pattern on both horizontal and vertical plane. If we re still reduce it to three foot or three feet, so Our pattern is now totally meshed together or it overlaps with each other so that is ideal however the compromise is about gain and your impedance so what is the best stacking distance is it depends on what you would like to achieve if you want clean pattern with lower gain or higher gain with more side lobes so for me i would prefer uh, optimal gain and optimal stacking distance which fall on around four feet of antenna stacking so we prove that the statement from this website is correct based on what we have computed using antenna modeling on 4 neck 2 with lower distance you get lower gain but mostly a pattern with less side lobes 
if the yagis come too close together, the impedance of the yagis will change. That is actually true if you are prototyping your antenna. You can try to experiment and prove this statement if it's correct or not based on your experience. So again, thank you for watching. Until next time, and I hope that we answer the question for the best stocking distance from our friend Nelson Bautista Sakilayan. Thank you for the question and until next time, thank you for watching.